<laughs> you guys got to deal with the jet lag, and then you got to deal with your big night out, and then you got to deal with just how much networking and how much connecting and how many meetings we got, because it is going to be ram-packed between now Sunday night to Thursday night. I have got Let's a go schedule go that's ahead. for a professional <laughs> hustler. sitting here thinking about why we're going to the other side of the world. Why are we going to Token 2049? Like, what is the real reason behind this? And it's clear. It's so people know who we are, right? And let me go and explain that. Let me take it a step further. If no one knows who SVK Crypto is, we are not going to get the first call for the next great projects. Our job, our mission is for everyone to get to know us. Why? Because we want that first call when a developer comes up with the next big idea. We want to have the ability and access to be given the first look at any great project, any great deal coming through. And you do that by people knowing who you are. And I don't want to read about great deals from a press release. Like, I don't want to do that. I want to be able to find the next great project via, via my network, via, via our community. And I think anyone has the ability to do that now. Whether you're a crypto enthusiast, whether you're a venture firm, whether you are someone looking for funding, like whatever, whatever you're looking to do, whatever you're looking to connect to other like-minded technologists within the space, everyone has the ability, because at this stage with the space, it's so new that everyone has the ability to connect with thought leaders, thinkers within the space. And the way you do that is going to events like Token 2049, which are gatherings of people. That's what they are. People are coming together to share their thoughts and ideas. Now, if you're not going to those events and if no one knows who you are, you're not in business, you're not. In fact, it's unethical not to go to these events. It's unethical because no one knows who you are. And what value can you bring to the rest of the world if no one knows? None. We need to grow the message of this space. Education and educating others is key, right? But like just growing, letting people know. If you don't, no one's gonna know. It doesn't mean anything. I'm here with Charles Story and welcome to Hong Kong. It's great to be here, man. <laughs> it's great to be back in Hong Kong. It was only this time last year that we were here, right? Yeah, and I know that over the next four days, and two days being the conference, we're going to reflect on just how far we've come and also where the cryptocurrency and blockchain technology markets have come as well, and how far and what's progressed, and all the people that we met last year, and what they're all doing, what they're up to, but more importantly, what we're up to. That's right, and I think the access that Hong Kong always provides, right, with events like Token 2049 is just phenomenal. I remember this time last year we were walking around and we bumped into Charles Hoskinson from Cardano and some of the other great thought leaders in the space. And I think it's just one of those wonderful times where it's so special that everyone can just bump into anyone in any situation in the Kerry Hotel where we're staying. Well, That's what makes it special. You know, that's absolutely right. And as you know, I've been in Hong Kong, I just realized, for a week. Uh, and what's interesting about Hong Kong is it's got this uh, almost in, you know, infatuation. Uh, it's almost uh, you become unaware of time because when you're looking back at what's going on in the UK when you guys are going to bed I'm waking up and vice versa um, and also Hong Kong has this way of, uh, of spinning you around right so uh, in, a, in, a, in a most beautiful fashion but the last week and looking at blockchain week Hong Kong has been absolutely awesome there's been some really great people in town uh, the event was somewhat s smaller and somewhat focused, but it didn't take away from all the participants that were at the event and also all the uh, networking and social events after the events each and every day. It was really, really, really good. What I find sometimes with, with free events, like the one you've been to, Hong Kong Blockchain Week, is really in the evenings is where it goes down, right? Because you have everyone congregating together and then everyone kind of splits off in different areas to different locations. You just meet so many phenomenal people. I even though you've met some really great characters over the past week, but it's, that's, what's, that's what makes it important. Yeah. I think that's what makes it exciting. It was really good, and uh, it's lovely to come to Hong Kong for a period of time because 
you start to actually get into the rhythm of Hong right. Kong, which I believe I'm totally in right now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys got to deal with the jet lag, and then you got to deal with your big night out, and then you got to deal with just how much networking and how much connecting and how many meetings we got, because it is going to be rampacked between now Sunday night to Thursday night. I have got Let's a go schedule as for a professional <laughs> hustler, so you're going to really have to keep up on this. Let's go, man. We're ready. We're well, ready we're going to start off by dinner tonight. Yeah, that's going to be okay. good. Okay, dinner tonight, uh, strategy meeting, yeah. um, one or two drinks. Let's do it. Okay.